recently interviewed for sd2 roles at some of the top tech companies like google amazon doordash databricks stripe uber rippling and many more got couple of offers got rejection from others and learned a lot along the way in this video series i am going to walk you through my journey what went well what went wrong and costed me the offer my preparation strategy my compensation insights and a lot more if you are preparing for sd2 role or are just trying to understand how these company hire you are at the right place let's get started Hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i will be talking about my zepto sd2 interview experience and before moving forward if you are new to the channel do subscribe because lot more interesting videos are coming up i have already uploaded my amazon and doordash sd2 interview experience do check it out before jumping on to the process uh, let's discuss about the compensation or the salary structure which zepto offers so zepto offers a base salary for sd2 which varies from 35 lakh to 50 lakh like it goes till 50 lakh it does not include performance bonus in your compensation while they have joining bonus and uh, retention bonus joining bonus varies around from 3 to 5 lakhs and from a retention bonus varies around from 2 to 4 lakh it depends upon your competing offers and all this talking about the esops they generally provide 11 lakhs to 15 lakhs annually so the total compensation comes about to be 51 to 72 lakh it's a huge gap but it depends on your competing offer how much is your experience how was your interview process lot more things Let's jump into the interview process now. So yeah, it all started in August or September around I think when Zepto was on like limelight for raising millions of dollars and uh, at that time they were also planning to open their office in Bangalore. I saw their opening in uh, Insta hire and apply directly there and within few hours I got reach out from the recruiter itself for the process and all. The recruiter told me that there will be no screening round. I will be directly going to the on-site round. uh she informed me like there will be four rounds one will be dsa or the problem solving round second will be machine coding slash lld round third will be hiring manager round and fourth will be just a discussion hr round kind of thing for your salary negotiation and all this thing let's talk about the interview process first round was dsa slash problem solving round wo round interview vector ya fir kisi outsourcing company liya tha as far as i remember it was bar razor i think and uh, it was around 60 minute and it included two question which was like medium hard kind of uh, scenario uh, one was the dp and one was binary search question if you have done lead code medium hard problem solving of dp or binary search you would easily do that once the dsa round was done on the next day i got interview schedule for my ld round itself like it is elimination round kind of thing if you are not selected in dsa round you will not move forward it was kind of thing so i received the ld round so it was clear i passed the first round in the ld round i was confused like what will they ask because this was my i think first or second ld round i actually have went thorough with their lead code discussion section so i was pretty much knowledge like what kind of question they will ask the round was around 75 minutes 60 to 75 minute and it was also taken care by some outsourcing company i think bar razor took it so in that you don't know who is the interviewer like the interviewer will be outside zepto and the question they asked me was similar to design a zepto but more focused on how the delivery will happen in 10 minutes suppose i am located in certain area around 10 km radius or 1 km radius how will i allocate order to a delivery partner and how will i find out the delivery partner so we had a deep discussion around a simple design it was not hld but you have to just speak out loud what is your design approach and all how will you interact with the google map uh, third party authentication third party service and all do you need in house mapping service or not that was also some kind of a question but at the end uh, more or the structure of ld round was first you should understand the question clear out the functional requirements around that then call out the algorithms that you will use the classes entities that you will use and uh, you need to provide the design patterns also then you can just talk with the interviewer how things should go because before jotting down the uh, functional requirements we had a deep discussion of around 30 minutes to figure out like how things will work then he only allowed me to write the classes entities and figure out the relation between the classes and entities and all that we also had like brief discussion around what kind of db should be select like what is the schema should be there at the end we figure out what are the design patterns will be used Now let's talk about the third round which is hiring manager round. So it seems like generally I think hiring manager round is somewhat easy like you just need to explain your behavioral side and that's it right. This round actually changed the way I used to think about hiring manager round. Why? Let me tell you. One one of the vice president actually joined from Zepto 
and he introduced uh, himself and i introduced myself i think for 15 minutes he talk about the team and all that and then we started with one of my project that i did in my previous company and explain it thoroughly what is the design choices i made and what was my contribution what is the impact but somehow the conversation was not getting aligned between me and hiring manager like uh, either i was not able to explain it clearly or he was not able to understand so whatever the questions he had he was not getting the proper answers that he expected and the discussion was like uh, more over 60 minutes around that i can literally see that at the end of the interview he was little confused so i was expecting it as a soft yes once the hiring manager round was done uh, ideally you should receive an hr interview call but i didn't receive for two days then i called the hr like hey i didn't received the call then at that point i came to know that yeah i am rejected so i got clarity like what all things i messed up in hiring manager round and i take care of that like mera perception ye tha ki hiring manager is like very easy and chill round you will not get rejected because you just have to provide your behavioral part and maybe project sections and all that but it was not the case here hiring manager should be aligned very well with your thoughts uh, that is most important because they look out for like either you are a team player or not either you are a great mentor or not many other things for their team uh, but one thing i didn't liked about i called multiple times to the hr to ask for the feedback he was not ready to give it and that uh, upset me a bit because I want to actually crack other companies round right that was my main target also talking about the resources which helped me to prepare for the LLD round and DSA round for the DSA round I mostly focus on lead code and medium hard uh, that was mainly focused on DP binary search binary tree what helped me was to figure out the question that was already asked in zap to sd to interview experiences like the past experiences I completed them beforehand similar to LLD round also I jot down all the problems that was previously asked in the Zap to LLD rounds and completed them beforehand. That actually helped me to revise things or to make sure like in which flow I should move forward in an interview. That will actually help me to manage my time well to answer the questions. Yeah. So before uh, just ending the, call, I just want to say that if you are preparing any company, don't expect like you will get the offer. There will be many ups and downs. You will get rejected in many of the companies, but you need only one offer to actually make a change. So just look out for that one offer. Keep focusing and keep working hard. Yeah. I think that's it from my side. Yeah. Let me know in the comments which all videos do you want from my side. I'll be happy to share. Uh, see you in the next interview experience or tech more videos. Scott here, signing off.